Welcome back, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745, and I know you've heard this too many times, but if you haven't already, please subscribe and like the videos. Thanks so much. Keep that short, but try to remind people. We are continuing Hearts of Iron 3 with Black Ice 10.33, German Graphical Augmentations, Third Reich Events, Units of the Third Reich, and the Dworms mods, and a few other smaller mods like Tanganyika as well. Um, just, and I'm not going to say that start up every episode, but once in a while, hold on, hold on, where on my eye? Okay. Carrier hangers have advanced. Very nice. Um, year 1929. Not that we're going for terribly advanced stuff at the moment, obviously. We've done closed hangers that have opened. Memory thickness, vertical protection. I don't know. Do some of that. The five mark plan. Save only five marks a week. From your increased salary, and in four years you'll be able you'll be the owner of a brand new Volkswagen. Um, it was definitely a Ponzi scheme, though not that they were going to try to cheat somebody out of it. But economically, it wouldn't work without a lot of government help on it. But it also helps um, pull money out of the economy. And I've talked long about all of this, so I won't go into it this time. Like I said, I'm going to try to make a lot of like economic talks and other things into separate episodes. And hopefully that'll work better. Ritter SA. So we're seeing uh, Ritter SA Kaufmann Schaffen Combat Companies in Group A Middle. You see them here at one of their sort of public days riding. Um, so they're doing a lot of military type training and not necessarily like as in shooting guns and um, charging with cavalry sabers, but just organizing up, knowing how to use horses. German Army's primary transport was either the train or the horse. However, you want to look at that medium fuel tank. Research has advanced. Very good. Does that. Okay, these are all now basically 39 technologies unlocked and ready to research. So let's look for other 38 technologies. We'll be back to there for sure at some point. Amphibious warfare equipment. Yes. There we go. Uh, what are we too far ahead on? Also, um, armor plate thickness. Okay. And that is here in 1940. So we've got thicker armor plates. And like I've said before, some of that really isn't like, duh, couldn't they have figured out to make armor plates thicker? Well, part of it is the technology of like welding them together. Because like the Czechs made great tanks, except, except they didn't have the technology to, have, or at least a seemingly, I mean, tell me I'm wrong, fine but to weld the plates together. So they were either riveting, I think primarily riveting them to the um, to a frame. Instead of not using a frame, but welding them together more effectively and whatnot. So yes, okay, cruiser crew training, damage control. We could do more of that, but let's come over here and yeah, we can, well, um, we'll do fire control system just because it takes long. We'll get that under research. The PD Tanganyika, there's a picture of it. Um, it was purchased from the Deutsches Ost Africa line um, on a, um, well, in, in 1936 it was purchased. And we can put it on a KDF cruise around Africa. Send them there, combination public relations, and maybe developing the fifth column. I'm not sure historically if they were quite looking that forward ahead, but go down there, go down to South Africa and the um, uh, 
Mozambique and Angola colonies of Portugal. Okay, here we go. The SA Marine, we've talked a little bit about this. They're both inland SA Marine training centers on lakes and along major rivers and on training vessels and other small vessels in coastal re regions. Should we increase and expand the SA Marine training program? We can keep training, cost us some supplies, gain us a little bit of um, boost in there or leave it. And you can see here, it's maybe a little hard. This is the facility that's like a boat there on this lake, but you can I know it's sort of barely to see here, but you can sort of see outline, see the the um, signal or the how um, halyards or um, I don't know um, some of the ropes that they have like flags on them. You, there's a whole sort of um, fake ship that's on the land. I mean, it doesn't go anywhere. It's not doesn't float. It just set up there to do raising and lowering sails and training, climbing up and around the sails, all on the this um, setting and lowering sails, all on this inland um, place. So both coastally and inland, they were doing that. So we can do that or not. We can increase that or not. Yes, we will continue that. And so this works out to obviously get people that are more familiar with naval operations to be, go join the Navy because, again, most of the German population is not along the coast, so they don't have a natural affinity for it in that sense. But also another important element from the National Socialist perspective is um, what popped up that we didn't notice. Um, what? Oh, okay, well, deplete construction. Okay. Uh, paused it, and this is putting together the welded plates. Um, is to get reliable, as they would see it, nationally so national socialist ideologically reliable people into the navy. You know, as basic crewmen and potentially you know junior officers or whatever at some point. Yes, I, I know about those. I'm just mountain unit training here. Yeah, let's get that up and going. Okay, what? Okay, oh, we've got a lot of stuff has come out. So we have a bunch of. Um, let's look here. Oh, it's now granting us here. Um, yeah, uh, okay, we've got, I'm just looking at, like, okay, um, because they are useful, and they will help build up, let's do two more coastal submarines, they're cheap, let's, oh, wrong, wrong one, yeah, let's do two destroyers, we're not going to go pull, full plan Z or anything, but let's also which get in production a couple of submarines. Okay, we still have more. Um let's do two torpedo boats. Something sort of in the frigate type class. I'm gonna move Groth Zeppelin down to the bottom again. Okay, let's do two close support. I'm using these because they're going to be quicker to get going through before we go to move up to medium bombers, which we'll get some of those as well. Is I really don't need the Groth Zeppelin at any time early in the game. So, not that it's entirely useless, just like I say, don't need it. Okay, we're about ready to hit those two transports. We've got two more here. We'll get some more practicals up. And yeah, long term, we're going to want some heavy, just one though. Heavy transports. Create that transport bridge out deep into the Soviet Union, particularly.
Okay, carrier torpedo protection. I don't know if that just simply blisters on the outside of the hull that will blow up. You know, if the torpedo hits it, blow holes in that instead of in the main hull. Or whether that's other things. I don't know. Um, I don't know what all... I don't know what that Graf Zeppelin technology is going to be like. Clear translated, because that's... No, I don't know. I just don't know. We'll do double, double hanger. Self-sealing fuel tanks have advanced. That would be... Uh, um, air systems. If I remember correctly, we're basically done with air systems for the moment. Well, let's go over to... Here, because I know we have a lot of elements. Okay. Um, these are the ones that we should get done earlier for the building of the submarines. Compared to what these, they can be done a bit later. Okay. The University, something of Tehran. Um, it's the clinic in Tehran University or University Hospital. Do we want um, Holtzman to build that out there in Tehran? It cost us a little bit, um, but um, helps our relations with Iran if we want to do that. Sure. And the reason that's a really long flag is that was the official size of the Iranian flag at the time. Not that most people flew that out there, but yeah. Okay, offer of Saudi Arabia. We give them money for a while. No, because they will not buy stuff from us. Okay, ammunition capacity has advanced. Very good. That would be over here, I think. Yes. Let's continue with our. Um, two periscopes. And. Daimoa, however you pronounce that, the seagull. This is a magazine on Zapot. Um, we can continue to invest in promoting up the, um, the resort or not. So it is in a foreign country, so we'll lose a little money having German tourists go and spend money there. But yeah, we want to do that. It helps our popularity. They have a casino. Maybe we can win back our money. I don't know that the government got anything back from the casino or not, but um you can see their sort of um areas in which they're trying to draw tourists from a place like britain you know the baltic states and we can see more it's a bit of a playground for the national socialists um interestingly enough this is one of the pictures from the time there is the german flag the um uh, not KDF, one of the other sort of holiday group site flags, and the American flag is being flown there. I don't know why the American flag is being flown there at the time. And another event, there's Goebbels at the holiday, at the, the location there. It's also a bit of a health spa going on, as well as sort of, you know, holidays at the beach kind of thing going on and we lose a little bit of descent very good that helped us out so that's all within this province of there oh, give them fuel okay sure so there was a lot of things going on for the again for the right type of people in national socialist germany and i can't stress that enough and i this has gone on for a long time i don't know why we haven't gotten okay cruiser medium anti-aircraft the all solution event cruiser medium anti-air is not 39 okay um Light cruiser. I don't know if we increase um, plate thickness for light cruisers, but we're going to move over to submarines here and really sort of, as we're starting to build more and more of them, let's get our technology up quality there. Okay, let's look here. Okay, um, head of intelligence. Let's see. 
Oh, cancel. We currently have that. He's definitely helping us with that. Local intelligence. Um, that actually reduces because the SS isn't terribly liked. So I reduce ruling party support. You know, they're the heavies in the bunch. If they're running everything, people are more in terror of them. And they feel sort of comforted in times of um, stress, but... No, I don't see a better option right now than him. He's keeping our consumer goods way down, so we don't want to lose him. I'm just trying to... He's definitely ruling party support. Um, ruling party support. And we can't lose him as armaments minister. I don't think the army and navy are going to affect that so much. So, we have a good cushion there. Not very good cushion there. On the event that eats into the steel for the KDF wagon here. It's eaten a lot into our steel production. Okay. Um, no, that's Kessel. Um, right for there it is. Okay, so we're building one, extracting rares, we're getting 6.8. I know that's not a whole lot, but I just threw in on the one to make that a little better. So that's a basically, I mean, our margin of um, excess over our immediate needs is just that right now. Because other things are going to happen. Let's... Let's click over here. Let's find a couple of big. Yeah, let's go with maybe three. Okay, that's that's one. No, ten isn't big. I'm talking big. Forty-eight, maybe. Yeah, 48 looks solid. Yeah, steel. Three, four. got that coming there. Oh, 82. Oh, we've got that. Okay, well, that, well wait a minute. So we got an 82. No, it's 19 now. Okay, well, I've got 44. Well, yeah, we'll do this. Where is it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. 44. And we're going to move those up to the top. I know there that's 15 ICs. But we're, now we will get more steel once we annex Austria, I'm sure. Um, don't know exactly how much. But we'll need to deal with all of that. Well, what do we... Oh, that's why... Okay, tank radio communication. Yep, we're throwing a lot into submarines right now. We're building up a reserve of spies. I like that. Radar advances. Very good.
Okay, fire doctrine ground control land based. Well, I don't know if we want to push ahead early on that. Okay, so air doctrine and naval doctrine. Fire ground control. Oh, we would want to do that. Yes. We want to do that for sure. Twin engine bomb bay advanced, very nice, and I believe that would be the one that's now too far in advance. And I think, yes, we'll get. It's, I believe, you can correct me if, if, you, if you know, um, I believe it's when you put a ship or a submarine or an aircraft into um, production. Yes, our blueprints are stolen. Uh, is the level of capabilities it has at it. So that's one of the reasons for delaying some of the stuff is to get the re get the um, get the research done first. Okay, I'm using ballistic cat. Basically, that's a pointy bullet with a sort of a round, soft nose on it that's supposed to, when it impacts on an, at an angle, to reorient the projectile sort of so it would go straight in, so it changes the direction of the, um, if I have all this right, where the projectile is coming into. So, like if the armor is on an angle like this, it come, as it's coming in like that. Another, oh wow, um, another blueprint stolen. Okay, we've got to look at it. So, you know, the angle's like this, coming like that. Instead of deflecting off up, it's like to then direct it down and then direct it in on it, is sort of the way. Okay, uh, we give them money for crude oil. Okay, we'll do that. We've got enough of a reserve of money and we want to build up crude oil. Um, let's look at our spies. That was the other thing I wonder. Okay, so we have max out until inside Germany and we have a cushion so they're assigning everybody they can. At least that's how I read all this. I don't know if maxing out like ruling party support and raising national unity actually takes away. If it was just focused purely on counter espionage, but I don't know. High explosive ammunition. Um, uh, oh, that's Cruiser, light cruiser. Um, yeah, we're going to let that continue. Diplomatic report, our diplomatic service reports that Edward Bernays, president of Czechoslovakia, is on the cover of U.S. Time, uh, Time magazine in the U.S. Interesting reduces our relations there because it's obviously there as a, in, you know, opposition to Germany. Damn, Czechoslovakia, Hungary has not happened, or, oh man, Austria has not happened yet. It really should have happened long ago. Okay. Okay, Stormtrooper tactics have advanced. That's nice. Um, okay, maxed out, done. So that's grayed out. Um, we can do, I guess, switch that over to training centers. 
and infantry support weapons have advanced. Because that allows machine gun focused battalions. Um, What? Um, where? Oh, over here. Oh, yeah, no, 44. No, that we don't. We're not doing that at the moment. So let's continue our research for everything submarine that we can do in 1938. So these, I think, are normally upgrading where these other things won't. Unless you send them back through the production queue. You know, let's do warhead infusing oh well let's end this episode here i want to thank you all for watching thanks for liking the videos you know just thank you if you've made it this far and i love hearing your comments so please post below see you next time for more hearts of iron